What's a bilge swallow? That's what be a bilge swallow, little lass. And it be a swabby fathom-headed enough to drink from a bilge. You talk funny, Uncle Seraphin. You know, lass, each time you call me that, you be aging me three halfs a year. Hmm? Don't you have a temple to find? And? Where is he? Did you get my money? So you do. hoping for, but I suppose that'll have to do.
absolutely. Certainly. Feeling proud to be a Valera for once. I do. Of course. What you want? Sprout wings like him, huh? Fly up to balcony. Doors are for ground meat. Eh, Archimere doesn't let worthless idiot outside after worthless idiot spray dung on stupid tablet.
But Archimere not home. So worthless idiot watches the ships come in. Looks at all the tasty gulls. Eh, those Archimere's big words. Gave name, but worthless idiot, no understand. Eh? That's so? Worthless idiot should ask Stinkfoot or Catbreath what they say. Often you beat your crew, huh? I join crew. I join crew. Absolutely. Quench your thirst on the way up the mountain?
You're the captain who Aldi's invited to parley, ain't you? I'm to keep an eye out. It's so I can provide you an escort when you arrive. Right this way, Captain. It's my pleasure to show our honored guest around. Aye, it sure is. Lovson. Like what you see? The mark on this side, it means I'm the second highest rank on the Council of Captains. I'm but one chair below that cockrot Ferrante. Now, I know I offered you a full parley, but I'm a pirate, which means I'm loyal to my crew. But otherwise, I lie whenever it benefits me. You killed my fourth chair and a damn good friend. A part of me might be impressed, but a part of me wants to flay the skin from your face. Understand? If you've an explanation, I'd advise you to give it up real quick. So you settled it, as pirates do. Suppose I can't fault you for that. Still. 
You cut off my right hand. How do you plan to replace it? He said you had a smart mouth. But I suppose this will quell my anger. For a time. Now that we've got that out of the way, I'll admit, I really like you, Captain. You got guts, and not just smattered in your hair. I'd like to make you a deal. Forgive me for dragging you all this way, but I find the proposition of a partnership best works in person. Me and mine within the Principi would make for powerful allies on your side. But would you give us loyalty in return? That, I'd like to know. You're the cautious type. I can respect that. Or maybe... You just like to be wooed. But is it gold, booze, or power you're after. I'll offer you all three, and some, if you join with me. But I like to be courted too, lovesome. And I always come first. Say you wanted to entice an alliance of like-minded captains, you might start by aiding one of my best in Nekataka. She smuggles through the Undercroft. Goes by the name of Mad Morena, she does. And let me tell you, Dove, she's earned the moniker. You're a hard one to read. Fancy a game of cards some night? I'll take your answer as a yes, for now. You have a bright future ahead of you, Watcher. See that you don't tarnish it by flying the wrong pirate's flag. Out with the stale and in with the new, eh? I know you've met with Ferrante, that you may even be working for him that pribbling cock-rot. But that doesn't mean you can't partner with me instead. Don't do anything to let him catch on. Just keep me appraised of certain future events as they shape up. I. How clever you are. No need to commit to it now. You just think on it the next time you're toiling for a man who'd happily gut you. After you've done his bidding, given half the chance. When the time's right, we'll set our strategy. Well, what can I do you, lovesome? We're the future, and we ain't going nowhere. We're pirates, lovesome. We own this sea, and the sea loves us back in her twisted way. Ferrante pines for a homeland he's never seen. But what does old Valia mean to me or my crew? We're not Valian, and we never will be. Though if you're Valian, and you want to join our bloodline, you're more than welcome. Generations ago, and I grew like a weed in the deerwood, you see? You say consueglo me casitas. I say Council of Captains. You say Principi, I say best pirates in the Deadfire. 
You say swollen it? I say, well, some things stay the same. Stormy night, the snow was on the ground. A sailor boy stood on the quay, his ship was outward bound. His sweetheart standing by his side had many a silent tear. And as he pressed her to his heart, he whispered in her ear, Farewell, farewell, my own true love, this parting gives me pain. I'll be your own true guiding light when in a gale that ship set sail he kissed his love goodbye she watched the craft till out of sight till a tear bedimmed her eye and she prayed to Andra in the deeps to guide them on their way those loving parting that night re-echoed in her ear. Farewell, farewell, my own true love. This parting gives me pain. I'll be your own true guide in life when I return again. My thoughts shall be
and the blood was up my spy and his comrades when they A ship! I am saved!
Yes? Certainly. Weeks I've been stranded here. The Valian Trading Company sends no one. Unless... Diverus. The company's concerns are the Duke's concerns, which makes them my concerns. But saving your skin was not in my orders. Then it is the will of gods and countrymen alike that I remain stranded. Ak, you understand. I only tarry here because my shipmates went to Pococohara to search for Rubinozadra. I worry that Ruano, the local chieftain, gave Captain Bez and my crewmates a false lead. Or didn't know the way himself and was just trying to impress the outsider. This is a terrible place. The captain was meant to return. We swim in hostile waters, Huck. Ruano was the last to speak with the captain before she set sail. He squats in the hut northeast of that pitiful market. I would have joined her, but my stomach... <laughs> something did not agree. Now it is weeks since they should have returned. I'm only the galley cook, not a search party. I'd say he's one clove short of a bulb. A cozy for my staring. <laughs> it is unusual to see one of the locals so outfitted. with no sense of direction? Our group. My grandparents gave up their nomadic ways when they moved to the republics. See the appeal of staying in one place, one safe place. You would search for them, Agrasima. Payment is assumed with the company. They are quick to buy what they do not have. When we landed on Tikawara, the chieftain gave us a welcome feed for the dukes. 
We feast, danced, drank and slept. Only so we could feast, dance and drink more. Good to know your priorities were in proper order on company time. Tell it to the captain. It was all her idea. Percom plunk on it. Music and ale are medicine for the soul. Ah, even so, they did nothing to soften Anaharu. He said we had come to rob and plunder. He and Nairi turned the villagers against us. After that, we slept on the boat and took turns watching the shore. Except for me. I had to rest and recover, of course. But in the early hours, our lookout Soruano and Anaharu disappeared together. No one from the village approached us all day. And by the afternoon, only Ruano returned. Now no one here will even talk of Anaharu. Suspicious, no? Our captain was eager to leave before the winds changed again. The priestess. She imagines me in the jaws of our fish goddess. I know it. She lurks in the shrine next to that awful statue. I cannot stand her wicked looks, but if she does not scare you, then maybe you talk to her. The captain left all but the essentials with me. I have sustained myself trading with the villagers. Ecosi, but I'm almost out of ale. I must watch the supplies at the trading post. You will come to check on me, yes?
What do you think, Ishii? Hmm? I'd be glad to. 